Hello. Hey, it's just a quick quid on my video. Uh, just so you know, the last world I was on got corrupted. Oh, that's my footsteps, sorry. You know, footsteps from my earphones and it's just kind of freaking me out because I was just using speakers a minute ago. Anyway, uh, my last world got corrupted. It was like 800 zombies running around and into my mines, and when I tried to log out, it wouldn't log out, and I had to close it with Alt F4 on that. Corrupt the save file because it didn't finish saving, blah blah blah. So that save world was gone with Savannah and the large biomes. Not much I can do, but it's a bug. You lose world all the time. So I started a new world. And I kept the same theme as the last time, which is basically tried to follow the landscape to make the buildings and oh yeah, 12 block limit from every. Post, support post, which is extended because there's two posts there, right? So any block in between is only 12 blocks from one of the posts at least. But most from one of the posts is 12 blocks, blah blah blah. Anyway, that's the tree farm done. Over here, this is Birch Tree Farm and this is the Oak Tree Farm. Those glass blocks will be supported eventually, I'm just temporarily there just to help me grow the trees. As you can see it's mass usual 14 deep, 7 wide, it's 98 trees. This, this is right where I spawned. It's like I normally do, I build my house straight over the spawn point. And this right here is through spawn. Between these those, that cross shaped line in between the four blocks is where two spawn is coordinate wise. So I just adjusted the size of my things, my buildings to suit. Wasn't that much though, changing from odd to even. Quick little chicken farm. Ah, uh, yeah. And there's hoppers. All lead to the same chest. I've got to empty it out at some point. It's a quick cow farm. Aye. Hang on. It's better. Aye, so these are the cows. So I'm eight per pen. I've only got 24 each now. And then upstairs is more cows. I've yet to finish this bit off. There's maybe a roof over the top of it. Blah blah blah. But it's now four pens per cow. So it'll make 64 cows in total. So I've basically just been getting this world up to the same point, the other one was that. This is the wheat farm. 720 wheat per harvest when it's fully grown. And that is my brother's island. I'll let him use that, it's on a server race now. I'll do the world file on a server and let him play on in his mini on wheat stuff here. Just let me jump onto this island. And these bridges go between every island. And where is it? Support post there, support post in there. It's called so it goes right to the bottom of the ocean floor. So it's basically there's no point on this bridge that isn't that is more than 12 blocks from a post support post. Same with this, there's support post right there. And all four corners, and since it's only 11 wide, that means it's more well supported. Even though it doesn't have to be supported, I'm just it's a limitation I put on myself to make my builds a little more interesting. And that was where I first started growing my wheat <laughs> to get food because there was no pigs, no cows, no chickens, there was nothing on this island that I used for wheat products. And there was no pumpkins to make any pumpkin pie, there were no potatoes. Uh, I think eating off the zombies, like carrots, potatoes, so I had to just grow wheat in a wee box here. But, so that will be going when I, when I make the farm for carrots and potatoes, that will be going. And pumpkins too. And they're going to be like this. Out in the ocean, in a wee platform, fully supported. And those supports, all the spruce beams will go right into the ocean floor. Like those ones have, I just haven't had time to get that done yet. 
I explored in all directions of the ocean to find land. South there's a savannah and desert, east there's a savannah, savannah and desert, north there's a swamp and extreme hills and taiga, and to the east is a far forest and taiga. As you can see I've got savannah trees already. Just been making a mix pattern and I've basically not been doing it, not been using materials I didn't know I had or know what it would be, blah blah blah. So I didn't plan to have like nether brick, which I don't have yet. So it has just been built, has been built with materials I had available at the time. This will go all be done, like the last one did. I just need the wood for it, which is what the tree farms are for, so I'll get that done soon. And this will be like the last one as well. I'll dig out all this all the way down the bedrock, which is here. And I'll make my um, ranch mine down here. And for the first time in my whole Minecraft experience, I've got something from Enchanting I never got before. And I was in the first try in this world as well. There's something lucky about this world for me. <laughs> there we go. First time I've ever had silk touch in my life. In survival anyway. So I had a wee bit of fun. Mind it, everything. Mind it, say, the coal and diamonds and redstone are doing there for a wee bit of fun. Just the novelty of actually having silk touch to get them. And I've yet to make a new smelting station. No, this was just a quick access to uh, chest for eggs, and what's, and same here. I'm gonna make a wee support pillar that goes all the way down to the ground to support this glass structure, even though it doesn't need it. It's just for the fun. Just a quick enchanting room in here. This will all get moved as well, and I am on the snapshot. <laughs> That was enchanted before I put it on the snapshot. And I found a village. It's way, 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 way east. Brought his only bridge over to the East Island, which is basically Coldstone. <laughs> He doesn't have to follow my rules. <laughs> he doesn't have to put supports down every, tw every 24 blocks. There's 12 for one direction, 12 for another, 24. So he can just do whatever he wants. He's already made his own wee path over. You can see he's used half the potatoes I found at the village and made his own wee potato farm, carrot farm. And this was his wheat farm. Until I made mine and he's just borrowing that now. Which is fine with me to be honest. I get more than enough wheat from it <laughs> to do two people. <laughs> Probably to do ten people actually. <laughs> oh. And he's made his own pumpkin farm. I'll be making all my own stuff later, just had that time. And there's the island with Savannah and the desert. You can see it's not that far away. So I'll be extending the, the pathway that's next to my wheat farm all the way out to there. You can see I've got a lot further to go than he has. Because it just happens to be lucky that the island sticks out here near, near him. Now I'll have to go over those islands there. And the village is just up there to the north. Not that far inland. Easier for me to get to the boat though, which is how I got to it in the first place. Boated out. I was looking for cows for leather. <laughs> that went a long trip round, killing every cow I could find and found the village. And it's built over the top of a ravine too. Which is not very nice when you're jumping around and trying to kill cows. And all of a sudden, oh look, there's a big gap in front of you.
Because it was like, uh oh, almost feel like. I also found some sugar cane, and maybe farm for myself, and then Roland borrowed it and made his farm. He went out and found cactus in the desert. Because I've barely been out to the islands. Just a quick wee glance at them and I'm way back, but he went out and got some stuff. Just how about the spruce trees? And I didn't actually know that actually. Spruce trees, you can put them on a 2 by 2 like it is in the Mega Tiger. Where you get the puzzle, and you, you can grow it as a big two by two tree. Even not, even when you're not in the biome, I don't even think you can grow it in the biome. To be honest, but it's a great source of wood anyway. That's how we get the wood for the <laughs> spruce logs, pillars that go in there. Just harvest them as they grow. And like he's got his own, but I don't use that. And just interesting to be honest. I'm wondering the new system. So like you put in a iron sword, sharpness four, not back one, I'm breaking well. But if you put a stone sword after that, would they be different enchantments? Wow! I'm breaking two from one level. Ah, oh, but you need a level of primer 10 to get it. But that's not too bad. You only spend one level and you get some decent enchantments. So, no matter what the level of primer there is, it's always going to be one. Enchantment level you spend, and you get a decent enchantment. Hey! <laughs> so that's I'm breaking, I'm breaking, I'm breaking, I'm breaking, I'm breaking, I'm breaking, efficiency 4. But if I put in an iron tool, what would it be? Yeah, I don't want to make an old tool. <laughs> but I. Need a diamond pick anyway for level my six. Oh, I said it all just use wood. And I know you don't have to smelt it, but I don't have a fortune pick yet. I'm just interested if the stone pick gets that, as does the iron and gold, iron and diamond get the same enchantment? Or will they get different enchantments? Even though it's the same tool. What are we doing? There's a station right there. I need a new diamond pick, as I said, to enchant. To try and get fortune, so I could probably get one from a villager though. Doesn't matter too much. So, as I'm breaking, I'm breaking in efficiency 4. Efficiency, I'm breaking efficiency 4. I'm breaking, I'm breaking efficiency 4. So, it does change depending on the type of tool you put in. Hmm, alright. That's nice to know. I'll have to enchant that later. I also need the villagers for that, so not too much a rush for that. Anyway, so just a quick update to let you see what's going on, why I've not put any videos out, because I've been busy <sighs> trying to get this world up and running. Since I like, don't worry, I will be making supports for those slabs. That was just mainly because my brother came on. And he was looking at the chickens, and he was trying to feed them. And can you guess what happened? Walk, walk, walk. Falls right in, and there's no way out. 
And I wasn't even gonna give him at the time, so I had to come on and kill him to get him out. Which was okay because it was hoppers that caught all his stuff and put it in the chest. <laughs> oh, he's a bit daft at times. But, eh. So, like I said, quick update so you can see what's going on. And, as soon as I get finished getting this, up, this world up to the same place I was at last world, I'll start trying to get more videos. Let's see whenever I get ready.